Hello everyone. This is going to be your final fourth stanza of the poem and elementary school classroom in Islam. So far we study all about the things related to first three stanza. Now we come to the last fourth stanza. See, unless governor Inspector, a visitor, the map begins the window. See, the map begins their window, and these windows. And these windows that set upon that set upon their life like catacombs, grave, break or break. Open till they break the tongue. As you know, that in the first stanza, the poet states the situation of those young children sitting in the classroom. In the second stanza, the poet describes the classroom walls, and in the third stanza, the poet mentions the actual condition of those young children and what is actually. The meaning of the decorated things on the walls of the classroom. It is mentioned by the poet. Here in the fourth and the last stanza of the poem, poet make a huge appeal or request, and it is the appeal request for governor, inspector, and visitor. Anybody who is going there, there is appeal for that visitor, even though who inspect them. It is the appeal for inspector and even the governing authorities. The poet make a humble request to all of those that the map becomes their window, and these windows they set upon their lives like catacombs. You know very well there are two world is being shown here. The first world. Is the world of poor slum children the real world for those slum children? And there is another world that is shown in the map, and that map doesn't have any uh, relevance with these slum children. Okay, see, their world is exactly these windows. It is being said by the poet that the map that is uh, shown, where upon there is no existence of these slum children. We can't say that this world is for theirs. Exactly, their world is these windows. Windows. I just earlier mentioned that windows is totally here the restricted surrounding area where the slum children are living. So there is a request for governor, inspector, and visitor that the map becomes their window. Exactly, that is shown in the map is not their real world. Their real world is these windows, means the restricted area, the slum area where they are right now living, and these windows means the surrounding area where now they are surviving. That set upon that is going to close upon the lives of these children like a grave, grave, cover. तो भी यहाँ पर एक अर्ज करता है, निवेदन करता है, रिक्वेस्ट करता है, अपील करता है, वो अपील करता है गवर्नर से, इंस्पेक्टर से और विजिटर से। वो कहता है कि एक्जेक्टली उनका संसार वो संसार नहीं है जो कि उस मैप में शो किया गया है। उनका संसार वो संकीर्ण सी पतली गलियाँ हैं, वो जगह है 
जहां पर वो डायरेक्ट पॉवर्टी के अंदर किसी तरीके से सर्वाइव करते हैं और कहता है कि इन विंडो जो है ये उनके जीवन के ऊपर एक कब्र बन करके बंद होने वाली है कैटाकॉम्स को हम कहेंगे ग्रेक ब्रेक ओ ब्रेक ओपन टिल दे ब्रेक द टाउन इट इज अ वेरी ब्रिलियंट लाइन फ्रॉम द पॉइंट एंड इट सजेस्ट दैट यू नो ब्रेक ओ ब्रेक रिपीटेशन ऑफ द वर्ड ब्रेक ओ ब्रेक ओपन टिल दे ब्रेक द टाउन ब्रेक करना तोड़ना इट इज द मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट दैट द पॉइंट वांट्स टू से दैट एंड इट इज द ओपन अपील टू द गवर्नर इंस्पेक्टर एंड विजिटर दैट in time to come you have to make them free they should have to be live into the freedom break or break open till they break the town otherwise they spread out throughout the town if in time to come you can't make them free from there or if you don't make them prosper then definitely they will break the town means they will spread all around their numbers will definitely increase so it is very significant message to the poet to the governor inspector and visitor he wants to say that these slum children should be away kept away from this slum area where upon they are right now living break or break open till they break the town yahan par kis cheez ko todne ki baat ki gayi hai un windows ko todne ki baat ki gayi hai उन खिड़कियों को उन सराउंडिंग क्षेत्र को तोड़ने की बात की गई है उनको प्रोस्प्रेस करने की बात की गई है उनको वहां से बाहर निकालने की बात की गई अदरवाइज दे विल स्प्रेड थ्रू आउट दी टाउन ओके लेट्स सी व्हाट दी पॉइंट वांट्स टू से इन दी नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट लाइन एंड सो दी चिल्ड्रन एंड सो दी चिल्ड्रन वॉट इज दी पॉइंट वॉन्ट्स टू से टू दोज सम चिल्ड्रन so the children to green fields let's see the next line and so the children to green fields and make their world and make their world run run as well on gold sands on gold sands and let their tongues let's see and let their tongues run and act into books run next into books with white and green leaves open with the white and green leaves open history there's history there's whose language is the sun history there whose language is the sun here there is appeal by the poet that they should be kept away from this uh, the slum area otherwise they spread throughout the town and after that what the poet wants to say see and so the children so the slum children what the poet wants to show them the green fields the poet wants to say that these slum children should be kept away from the unhygienic environment and they have to show the green fields and make their world make their world not just like the window but make their world very prosperous run as you on gold sands they should have been kept they should have been kept in uh or under a blue sky in golden sands in golden sands and what the next thing the poet wants to say is that let their tongues tongues here doesn't mean tongues tongues means your expression 
इट मीन्स दी अभिव्यक्ति भाव रन नेट इन टू बॉक्स स्वतंत्र रूप से आजाद रूप से स्वच्छता के साथ विदाउट एनी कंफ्यूजन विदाउट एनी सस्पेंशन दे हैव टू कैप्ट देम फ्री फॉर देर एक्सप्रेशन विथ व्हाइट एंड ग्रीन लिप्स ओपन लेट मी टेल यू वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ विथ व्हाइट एंड ग्रीन लिप्स ओपन व्हाइट मीन्स द व्हाइट लिप्स ऑफ बुक्स and green leaves means the green leaves of trees okay here white means the white leaves of books and green leaves means the green leaves of trees they have to be kept in the environment where they can live freely history there whose language is the sun so very magnificent things and you know friends what is the figure of speech in this line history there whose language is the sun language is here just you know compared to the sun language language is compared to the sun metaphor metaphor is being used here history there se ityas kon ka banta hai ityas kon ke liye hota hai jin ki jo language hoti hai expression hota hai abhivyakti hoti hai वो ब्राइट हो बहुत तेज हो चमकीली हो बहुत ज्यादा यू नो स्प्लेंडेड हो सन की तरह से हो इसलिए हम कहते हैं कि ये क्या हुआ मेटाफर हुआ और हिस्ट्री देयर सोस लैंग्वेज इज दी सन दी पॉइंट वॉन्ट्स टू से वेरी सिंपल मैसेज टू द गवर्नर इंस्पेक्टर एंड विजिटर दैट दीज सन चिल्ड्रन शुड बी कैप्ट अवे फ्रॉम दी एन हाइजनिक एनवायरमेंट ऑल दो दे आर Surrounded by you know different different type of disease, genetic they are suffering from genetic disorders. But still, you know this is the real time. It's the need of the art to remain these some children from that particular situation. And if they express themselves, and if they try to use their own language uh, with a lot of articulation, then it is just. Uh, the brilliant thing for those slum children because according to the poet our history always created by those people whose language have a total brilliance okay so this is the stanza the final stanza uh, of the poem so what is the uh, overall scenario here that poet in this particular stanza appeal to governor inspector and digital and what he wants here he wants that these slum children should be kept away from those slum areas restricted areas and what they have deserve they deserve a green fields they deserve that they remain healthy they must be in golden sands and their expression should be free there should be no uh, obstacles and this language should be just like sun brilliant brilliant okay so this is the stanza of the last stanza of the poem an elementary school classroom in aslam maine aapko you know ek ek figure of speech iska repeat kiya hai stanza mein jo bhi aaye hain lekin main chahunga ki it is very important from the point of view of the exam to learn all the significant figure of speech so here once again i would like to tell you the figure of speech involved throughout the poem so see and it is humble request to all of you to write down these figure of speech as well in your notebook okay students let's see the first of figure figure of speech okay figure of speech involved in the second poem an elementary school classroom in aslam the first far far all you know very well that there is repetition and alliteration second one is gestivates आपको याद होगा प्रसोनिफिकेशन प्रसोनिफिकेशन गेस्टी वेव्स थर्ड लाइक रूटलेस वीड्स और 
like rootless weeds like simli fourth one paper sinning boy you know very well in paper sinning boy metaphor पेपर सीनिंग बॉय के साथ साथ एक फ्रेज उसी स्टेंजे के अंदर हो रहा है हाँ उसी स्टेंजे में से है और वो है विद रेड साइज और विद रेड साइज में भी मेटाफर है कंपेरिजन इनडायरेक्टली इसके अलावा और जो फिगर ऑफ स्पीचेस आए हैं इसमें मैं कहूंगा एक अवार्डिंग दी वर्ल्ड इट्स वर्ल्ड The world is world. Antithesis. <coughs> the world with the uh, you know awarding the world its world, world and world both have different opinions here. That's why it is uh, antithesis. We can. Say is being used here in the seventh narrow street. Narrow street have metaphor. You have to write down all the figure of speeches involved, implied in this poem. Next, river, caves, and stars of the world. rivers caves and stars of the world rivers caves and stars of the world isme kaun sa imply ho sakta hai it is climax इट्स क्लाइमैक्स असेंडिंग ऑर्डर में चीजें जब भी आती हैं रिवर से केप्स केप्स से स्टार्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड तो जब भी असेंडिंग ऑर्डर में चीजें आती हैं हम कहेंगे क्लाइमैक्स है नाइन्थ में कमा सोरली शेक्सपियर यू ऑल नो वेरी वेल सियोरली शेक्सपियर में कौन सा फिगर ऑफ स्पीच है एलिट्रेशन एलिट्रेशन नेक्स्ट जो इसमें फिगर ऑफ स्पीच आया है वो मैं कहूंगा लाइक बॉटल बिट्स ऑन स्टॉन्स लाइक आ गया है लाइक बॉटल बिट्स ऑन स्टॉन्स इट मीन्स सिमली अभी और भी है कुछ उनको भी देखिए इलेवेंथ में आप लिखिए एस बी गैस डॉम एज और लाइक आ जाए तो सिमली है ओके फ्यू अदर फिगर ऑफ स्पीच रिमेन इन द लास्ट स्टेज एज वेल लेट्स हैव ए लुक their lives like catacombs their lives like catacombs is jo ye jo phrase hai isme figure of speech kaun sa rahega aapka like simile okay let's see the 13th ब्रेक और ब्रेक ब्रेक और ब्रेक ब्रेक और ब्रेक में रिपीटेशन फोर्टीन में लैंग्वेज इज दी सन लैंग्वेज इज दी सन अभी मैंने आपको बताया था मेटाफर
रिपीटेशन आर ई पी ई टी आई टी आई ओन लैंग्वेज डिस्क्रिप्शन में मेटाफर एंड देयर टर्म्स रन नेट टर्म्स कांट बी रन नेट दैट्स व्हाई इट इज पर्सोनिफिकेशन That's why it is personification. Okay, these are the figure of speeches involved in the poem. You have to learn all of them, and it is uh, nowadays the tendency of CBSE to put one of the figure of speech. Whether they are giving the stanza, they must ask figure of speech. So you have to learn all these figure of speeches very well. Okay. Now let me take few important question of the poem. Have a look. Few of the important question of the poem. First, what is the color of this your green? What is the color? of short green ye second stage stage jo aapka hai usme se what is the color of the short green why the poet used this expression okay what is the color of the short green and why the poet used this expression color of the short green is of white you know what is the color of the short green it is of white when we study the second stanza of the poem in the very first sentence just i repeated again and again that it seems to the poet that those classroom walls have been prepared for a long period of time and they have very musty smell they haven't uh, in the look that seems to be modernate okay so we can say that the color of the short green wall is totally off white they haven't repaired for a longer period of time the poet used this expression 